All right, so today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to play a song called Reflection Eternal. It's by one of my favorite artists uh, called Nujabees or Nujabees, I'm not exactly sure what the correct pronunciation is, but he makes a lot of well-made, a lot of really chill music, rest in peace. Um, and this is one of my favorites. I like to play it a lot to chill out, so I figured I'd share how to play it with you guys. It's really relatively simple. You just need to know a couple of chords. So I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so let's talk about how you go about playing that song. Um, the first thing is to know the chords. So I'm playing a C major 7 into a B minor 7 into a D, I think this is a dominant 7, into an E minor 7. And those are the only chords that I play for the whole song. So you can kind of get a sense for the song like... Yeah, so you can kind of, you know, get a sense for the direction of the song and how it goes just with the chords. So if you wanted to just learn to play, you know, this song with the chords, that's all you need to know, just the... And that's cool. But the way that I play it is I put in some of those melody notes as I play. So that's what we really need to go over because I can just give you the chord shapes, which I will. So you guys don't have to worry about, you know, figuring out the chords so much. It's just all the, if you know the cage system, the A shape. So root note always on the A string. And I'm just using seventh chord so either the major seventh or minor seventh you know whatever is appropriate just to give it that extra bit of feel so let's talk about how i add in those melody notes to kind of get the complete vibe of that uh you know reflection eternal motif so again we start on c major so that's the first part so you start with C major and you just play the chord. Then you add the melody notes, which are the second string, well, the B string, let's just call it the B string, um, on the third fret to the fifth fret on the same B string. So, And then you want to move the melody note back to that third fret. So... But when you move that melody note, you also change to the B minor 7th chord, which contains that note, okay? So it contains the next melody note after you've gone. So then it's B, okay? So and then you play the whole B minor 7th chord. And then you move, your next melody note is... Yeah, so your next uh, your next melody note is part of the D seventh chord. So, so all you have to do at that point is play the B string and accent it as part of the chord, and then you move up to the next melody note, which happens to be part of your E minor seven. Okay. So all together, you can see the melody here. So you start on C, C. Okay, to the B, to the D. So all we're really doing for the D and the E 
is just accenting those notes on the B string that are already in the chord, okay? So you're just playing the chord and making sure you pay attention to those notes. And then the second part of the melody, you use exactly the same chords that you used before. So it's still the C major seven, the D, not C major, yeah, C major seventh, B minor seventh, to the D seven and the, uh, the E minor seven. It's just that you pick different notes out. So And that's like the parts where you're moving from between the C major seven and the B minor seven are pretty much where you end up doing the most work. Otherwise, you're kind of just like picking notes out of the chords because it's already there um, as part of the chord. So when you play the second part of the melody, you go. So you're picking on that G string again. Um, but it's just the note out of the C major seven chord. And then you're playing two notes before you go into your B minor seven chord. And those notes are the G string, second fret, and then the D string, second fret. So you're just playing G string in the C major chord, then 2nd fret, D string 2nd fret, and then the next chord in the sequence, that B minor 7. And then from there, you move back to that same D7, and you're stressing the note. On the G string and then you do the same when you get to your E minor 7 except that you your last note that you stress yeah the last note that you stress is gonna be on the D string but it's notes straight out of the chords okay so let's play that second part through so same chords as before you just got to pick out the notes to stress that are from the melody of the song so let's play through it one time real quick Yeah, and that's all there is to it. So make sure you guys check out the description or maybe I'll put them on the screen. The chords will be somewhere for you. Um, check those out. And once you have the chords down, it's easy to find the notes because they're either in the chord or very close to the chord or like in between, switching between the two chords when it comes to that C and that B. So it shouldn't be that hard to figure out once you know the progression and you got that under your fingers. All right, thanks for watching that video, guys. Um, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you learned something, any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Check out some of my other videos on the channel. And if you like what you see going on here, go ahead and subscribe. All right, <laughs> thanks for watching and have a great day.